Talk about the difference a couple of days can make, Coach. Lost a heartbreaker at home on Wednesday night, 63-60, to and this afternoon really close out the game and about as good as you could have and beat a good Stephen F. Austin team. So proud of our team and the way they responded from uh, blowing a nine-point lead on Wednesday night to lose that game, uh, the way they practiced yesterday, the way they prepared, uh, the mentality that we had. We knew this game was going to be about toughness, and, and our team responded. Uh, and uh, I'm just I'm really proud of them, as much as I've been all season in practice or anything. And we've talked about not only did your team score there at the end, took, take, took care of the basketball, but defensively they really got at them and held them scoreless for a long stretch there at the end and forced them into a lot of turnovers late. You know, we only gave up seven offensive rebounds to them, a team that throws it inside, drives it, and, and rebounds it. And uh, we knew there was, we called it hand-to-hand -hand combat. We knew this was going to be some hand-to-hand -hand combat in there, and it was. And uh, you're right, we held on defensively just enough where we got a little uh, separation there, made some threes, and uh, uh, got the separation that we needed to go hopefully finish the game this time which we certainly did. Boy, Kareem Ozier, I know he was down the other night after missing seven free throws in that game, but tonight, 28 points. You know, Kareem hasn't shot the ball well for a while, and, and not horribly, but but I've been waiting for him to have a good shooting night, and uh, I think he has too. He's been in the gym a lot, and uh, you know, that right there, you had to drive the ball against this team, and there was gonna be some kick out threes, and you needed to make those threes, you know, and. Uh, and he hit some, and uh, he was really, really confident. Made all his free throws. Uh, so uh, really proud of him. Let's also talk about Elijah Gonzalez, who really did a great job for you off the bench. 16 points, 7 assists, and 2 steals. I'm not so sure Elijah's not the player of the game, in my opinion, because what he had to do handling that basketball for 35 minutes against their pressure and uh, it was tremendous to only have to have seven assists, three turnovers, and score some points. But it was the heat that was on him at all times. You know, we told them to keep dribbling the basketball out there if nobody was open. And, and against it, it's hard to do against that pressure over and over. And then yet be creative at the right time too. I thought he was tremendous and uh, really controlled that game from the point guard position. Shot 53% from the floor for the game. You out-rebounded by two. They came in here averaging double-figure rebound margin over their opponents. you got to be really pleased with the way you execute on offense tonight and also the way you rebounded the basketball. Rebounding, uh, uh, huge. You know, they're big and strong in there. And, uh, you know, they're usually in the tops in the country in a couple of categories. Usually in forcing turnovers. We did a good job there. Uh, usually in drawing fouls, uh, and uh, which we did a decent job there, even though they got to the line a pretty good bit. Uh, and then offensive rebounding. So uh, uh, that was a real tough man's game, and, and we challenged our players, you know, in practice yesterday and before the game uh, to show some toughness. And you, you weren't going to win it without them. And uh, they showed me a little grit tonight. I'm really proud of them. Next week, got a home game against Grambling on the road against Southern Miss. This is a time of year, though, when school lets out for winter break. You really have an opportunity to grow this basketball team and really develop some chemistry. Well, exactly. We'll, we'll keep the same routine in that we'll get in the film room again uh, and uh, learn from our mistakes, really work hard Monday and Tuesday preparing for Grambling and see if we can't take another little step forward uh, against them.